Okay. Thank you for, uh, hello, thank you for everybody being here and celebrating this day with us. My name is Tom Parks, the fire chief of the Citizens Fire Company. Very proud to be the chief of this place. Uh, there's an old saying, every, I'm sure a lot of you have heard it, you're only as good as the guys below you. Right here. <laughs> so let's give these guys a round of applause. Everybody here, in some way, shape, or form, helped us achieve our goal, which is them two new trucks sitting out there. Whether it's fundraising, or whatever it is, it's, but if somebody, if you look around at your sort of standing next to you, somebody helped in some way, shape, or form. And uh, I would like to, again, thank you on behalf of the officers and the members for helping us help you in the long run, because you was helping us, or help for getting modern, more technology, better trucks, and we're helping you in the long run. So again, thank you for helping us help you. I'd also like to acknowledge some of our brothers that can't be here with us today. They played a big part, real big part, in all our goals. Uh, Jack O'Brien, my dad, John Kleiner, numerous of them, Bobby Smigel, I'm going to forget somebody, then somebody's going to be mad, but <laughs> you know what I'm trying to get at there. Uh, they can't be here with us today. They are here with us. They're looking down. Look at the weather. I mean, it, it could be 20 below and snowing. Uh, also, I'd like to thank our families, our girlfriends, our wives. We take so much time away from them for being here to do this stuff. It's not fair to them. It is fair to them, you know, but I like to thank them, the spouses, the girlfriends, the families for uh, the time they take away from us. Really. That's all I have for right now. I gotta recruit. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jason Green, I'm Lieutenant at the Citizens. I wanted to touch a bit on our history. Um, in 1852, the population of the borough of Tamakula swelled to over 3,000 residents. That was an increase of over 2,500 people at the time, uh, or over a 10 year period. Obviously, with that type of influx, the need for an organized fire department was identified. It was during that year that some of the leading citizens of Tamakula came together, and the Perseverance Fire Company number one was formed. That fire company operated out of a barn right here in this general area, establishing the presence of a fire company on this street, which has continued for over 161 years. Over the years, many things have changed and the operations have progressed. In 1857, a steam fire engine was purchased, and in 1861, a frame firehouse was erected. In 1873, the borough purchased additional land, which expanded our lot to the west, and pretty much brought us to our current size as it stands today. In 1879, the first two-story brick firehouse was erected. Through the years, there are many stories of camaraderie and public support that were published in the newspapers at the time. The Brotherhood of the Fire Service was forming in this very spot. For reasons that may never be fully and accurately understood, the Perseverance Hose and Steam Company was disbanded in 1889. For most fire companies, this is a sad end. However, for the Citizens Fire Company, it was only the beginning. In July of 1889, the Citizens Fire Company was officially formed. For 124 years, we had manned this spot in the downtown, proudly serving the <coughs> residents of Tamaqua, while carrying on the initial goal of the Perseverance Hose, Hose and Steam Company, which is to protect the property and residents of Tamaqua. Our roots have never been forgotten. The keystone from Perseverance Hose and Steam Fire Company remains today and is preserved. Over the years, our apparatus has evolved. We have progressed from hand-drawn and hand-pumped hose carts to horse-drawn steam engines to motorized fire apparatus. We've gone from a time when we had to utilize a bucket brigade from the local troughs and creeks to fill the tank on a hand-drawn pump to one of the best hydrant systems in the area. In our history, you could say we've had a little bit of everything. We had an 1852 hose cart, a steam engine, a 1914 Boyd, 22 Seagraves, 37 quad, 
a Mac, a LaFrance, the KMEs, or Squad. While the apparatus has changed over time, other things remain the same. In 1882, it was documented in a local paper that the Perseverance Fair was in progress and brought in monetary support for the fire department. Over 131 years later, our block party is still our primary and largest fundraiser. We still raise our money and still buy our own equipment. Our members have always had to work extremely hard for what we have. The story has been the same since our beginning. Such is the life of the volunteer fire service. Every member we have must work as hard as they can to help us raise money. A grand majority of our financial support comes from the hard work of all the guys and girls that you see here, in addition to our friends and family that help out at the events like the block parties. This isn't unique to us. All of our surrounding companies are in the same position. The purchase of our equipment comes from the hard work of our volunteer members. We received no grants to offset the cost of this new engine. You're looking at about 239,000 blinis. <laughs> I say this not to stand on a soapbox and say, look at we, what we did, but to hopefully provide a good understanding of what all these men and women do for this company and for this community. This is nothing new. It's the way it's always been since the fire company has been here on Rose Street. So the next time you see one of our guys or girls from the six, or any of the guys or girls from the fire companies in town, say thanks to them. Be appreciative of everything that they do. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to bring up Danny Markowitz. Uh, I'll just say a couple of words. Most of you know me here, but my, I'm Lieutenant Dan Markevich. I'm a lieutenant with the West End in Wadi City for the past 30 years. Um, my professional job at Dispatcher School County for the last 15 years, and I've worked with Bobby Smigel for 15 years, so I, I, um, I know where you're coming from. On a brighter note, um, I'd just like to show some appreciation. Every time as we come down here in July for the block parties where we see the citizens at a parade, in fact, when we were specking our KME engine, Back in 2002, 2003, I remember Tom's dad was here and Jason and the guys. We took our, the, the former KME around town, drove it around, and took some ideas for, for our rig. And um, this is just my way of saying thanks. I do fire apparatus photography as a hobby. I want to present this to the company. Uh, hanging in their social players. And congratulations. Jason, Boo, Tommy, and Brad and everybody else, congratulations and good luck with the new engine. <laughs> Next up, we'd like to welcome Mayor of the Borough, Chris Morrison. Thank you. I'm certainly uh, happy to be here today. Uh, I always like to start with a little humor. Uh, besides the mayor of this borough, I serve as warranty manager at the uh, Co-Watch uh, Mobile Equipment. And I just want you folks to know I am watching when the champagne bottle smashes off the bumper. <laughs> that scratch will not be covered. Right? <laughs> I'll know that. Uh, I'm, I'm so thankful for the work that our volunteers do in this community. Uh, the firefighters are always there. Uh, whether it's a simple, something simple or it, it's, it's a full-blown structure fire, I can always count on the fire department, the volunteers in this community to be there. Uh, on on a, a second note, uh, the piece of apparatus parked in front has also provided a paycheck on Friday for many fellas that, and ladies that work at Co-Watch Mobile Equipment and reside in this community, some that to actually serve here at the Citizens uh, Fire Company. Uh, so on both notes, uh, I'm thankful that we have a new piece of apparatus in the town, and I'm thankful for the service that you folks provide for us. Chief, congratulations. Thank you. Next up, we'd like to welcome Representative Knowles. Thanks, Jason. And, uh, it's, it's great to be here. Uh, this is certainly a very special day. Uh, 
I've been involved in the Tamako Fire Department for a long time. You know, many of the guys, you know, Old Man Hartz and uh, you know Ollie Steigerwald, and the list goes on and on and on of guys that were here uh, when I when I became an active volunteer firefighter. I will tell you that uh, during the course of the years that I've been involved, all of the companies in town have gone through ups and downs. They've had their good times and they've had their bad times. And I don't think that the citizens is any exception to that. When that happens, you do one of two things. You either fold up your tent and go home, or you pull up your bootstraps and you go to work. Well, guess what these guys did? They pulled up their bootstraps, they went to work, and I can tell you that in all my years that I've been involved with the fire department, I have never seen this many active volunteer firefighters in a very long time. So I commend all of you, whether you be active volunteer firefighters, whether you be fire police, whatever part that you play, I thank you on behalf of the people that I represent in the 124th district. I also want to congratulate you uh, on this new pumper and on this new, uh, this new truck. I guess one's an engine, the other's a truck. Do I got that right? Oh, squad. Okay. One time they were all trucks. Now they're engines, squad, personnel carriers. But at any event, I congratulate you guys here. Because I know exactly what goes into uh, talking a lot of bucks there. You know, I think you're talking about 239, uh, not more than 239,000 per You know, but congratulations to all of you. Uh, the best of luck. And enjoy the rest of your day. And Hobbs, you where you at? You make sure none of these guys celebrate too much. Right. <laughs> Next up, we'd welcome Senator Arkell. Let me tell you, it's good to be this close to home on a, on a Saturday in a district that goes from Sinking Spring up to uh, up to all the way to the, the Pocono Racetrack in six counties. Uh, Jerry, I have to tell you, Chris Morrison wants to know if you remember steamers. <laughs> no, but I remember a 1939 Buffalo. There you go. Okay. <laughs> that was just too good a question not to ask her. So that was great, Mayor. Uh, thanks, thanks for the invitation. You know. Uh, uh, some of you, uh, the old timers in the room, may remember my, my old boss, uh, Representative Bill Klingeman, who served in the House uh, from 1972 to 1984. Uh, some of the guys here that I've known the longest from the old scout troop days will know that when, when Bill Klingeman hired me as a teenager, the deal was I could go to work for him for the summer for, I think, $50 a week. But Doug and Junior made sure I still got the week off to go to Canada. <laughs> Keep an eye on you guys, okay? Absolutely. And so uh, the one bit of advice that, uh, that Representative Klingeman gave me as, uh, as he was retiring and I was moving into the State House for the first time was, whatever you do, take good care of the volunteer firemen. Because the taxpayers would never allow us to pay for all of that that help and so guys uh, on behalf of the, the quarter million people that I'm privileged to represent across the six counties uh, congratulations on a, on a very special day I have a, a proclamation here from the General Assembly I am NOT going to read the whole thing uh, just therefore the the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania joins with the citizen fire company number one as it celebrates this momentous occasion and I guess this is the uh, the key phrase offers best wishes for continued success as it moves forward toward further thresholds of excellence. Congratulations. Next up, we'd like to welcome Captain Jason Hartz. I'm just going to touch on the, the uh, general specs of the, the two apparatus that you see outside. I'm not going to bore you because most of these guys are more interested in what's upstairs than in here. <laughs> uh, we'll start with the squad quick. The squad is a 2009, so a lot of people ask why is it being housed in 2013? Well, things don't always go like you plan. We actually planned on replacing that and our pumper a year later, and things didn't work out like we hoped. So here we are in 2013 housing both trucks. 
Uh, the squad is a 2009 GMC uh, chassis, which was purchased by uh, from Kovach, and the, the body was customized and built by Promise Custom Body Works of St. Clair. The unit was uh, built after we realized the need to carry additional personnel with not necessarily having another pump or the cost and the maintenance associated with a pump and tank and things like that. Uh, after doing months of research and visiting local firehouses with apparatus similar to that, we came up with what you see outside. The truck can carry five firefighters, a full complement of tools. Uh, it also serves as a mobile command post. It does have uh, radios capable of, for Schuylkill and Carbon County on all frequencies, laptop computers, mobile internet capability, and a host of reference material for different incidents. The unit is also part of the Schuylkill County Air Monitoring Task Force, which has a capability of responding to seven counties if needed to carry specialty gas meters um, in the need of any terrorism or down to a general carbon monoxide alarm. <clears throat> Most recently, we adapted the vehicle to be used as our rapid intervention team, which is basically a team that responds to fires and stand by in case of an emergency at a fire scene. Uh, the reason we did this is we didn't want to have the pumper sitting out of Tamaqua, sitting in, in Lansford or, or West Penn, and not have a pumper in town if another call came in. So we could take that with our, our, our crew of eight and our, our equipment and basically still leave a pumper in town. As far as the engine, uh, a little overview of how we got here. In 2000, we bought a new pumper from Kovac. And boy, did we learn a big lesson. Because before that, our, you know, the last purchase was 73 or 78. So. 90% of us weren't there. Uh, so we learned a great deal about how much time it takes to come up with specs for a pumper. Uh, we didn't realize that you had to spec everything from uh, brakes to brake shoe size all the way up to lights and everything else. Uh, and we also became very versed on NFPA 1901, which is the organization that governs the uh, fire apparatus manufacturers and the specifications. And we learned a great deal on how unvaluable we use fire apparatus is. Uh, we thought that most of our costs was going to be covered by selling our old trucks, and boy, did we learn a lesson. So at that point, we came up with a 10 or 12 year cycle to try to replace the apparatus. Uh, one, by letting us do this, we would get a great resale value on our current trucks and to be able to put towards the new ones. And that didn't work out too well in uh, 2010. So you see we are three years later, but we're trying to keep up with it uh, to keep them under 15 years. NFPA now states after 15 years, the truck can't be recognized as primary response, it's got to be in reserve. So when your ISO comes in and does their audits, which dictates the homeowner's insurance, you don't get full credit for a pumper. So that, that's where we're at, that's how we got to where we're at. Not just to have new trucks all the time, but there's a lot more behind it. Uh, so basically, touching on the new truck we got here, it's a 2014 KMB custom pumper, um, seating capacity for six. It's, it's powered by a 450 horsepower Cummins engine and an Allison automatic transmission. It has a Hale 2000 GPM Q-Max fire pump and an Akron foam system, 600 gallons of water, 20 of foam, a reduced lowered hose bed, and an electric ladder rack. That was one of the key features was uh, you don't get a lot of new volunteers anymore. So what you see here, everybody's getting older. We want things to be lower and easier to get to. Um, so we, we basically went with that. And one of the driving specs around this truck was we spent a tremendous amount of time in Tamaqua. Um, Thanks to Rob Jones and guys on the borough getting us grades for hills. We had grade scans done by Kovach to, to uh, pick the gear ratio in the rear axle, which would allow us to accelerate properly up these hills with it loaded. Uh, also dictated things down to brakes, seven, you know, large rot uh, rotor brakes and oversized drum brakes for stopping on these hills. Um, and the big thing was the size. Um, the South War of Tamaqua, everybody from town, you'll know that some of the small streets. So we drove around, we, we, we used walking wheels to try to figure out what we did. And as you can see, most of the specs don't change from the 2000. It's still a big pump, it's still got a lot of pre-connects, but the truck is over two foot shorter in length and about 14 inches in wheelbase, which makes a great difference for maneuvering. It's got a 45 degree camp angle on the front axle. So that was one of the driving forces was basically build the truck for town. And, and I think we've done that. Uh, we can leave here and make the turn and go back out. I mean, there was, there was a lot of time spent into the, the minute functioning of the truck that you don't see, so. Uh, feel free, after we house them, we'll open them up, let everybody look around, you can check out the equipment, and thank you all for coming again. Next up, with the blessing of the apparatus, is Pastor Crawford. So we're going outside or staying here? I was in Boston. Yeah. We're going to ask everybody to take us to the front of the trucks at this point in time for this part of the ceremony. <laughs>
I have I have had the honor and the privilege of dedicating and blessing trucks throughout the county, and I've been active in the volunteer fire service since 19, 1973. So it's, it has it has it has been a, it has been a while. I try to be a little bit historic and also very ecumenical, so that the act, the actual rite of blessing uh, comes from the comes from the 1912 Roman ritual, uh, where you can bless anything from fire from fire apparatus to uh, fishing boats to um, other things that you never want to bless, but they, they, they do it anyway. So we passed out a, passed out a little program. I only made a, a handful. Uh, some of you have them. I'd ask you to please make the responses that are printed in the darkened pipe for the congregation. And you are the congregation. Be joyful in God, all you lands. Be joyful, all the earth. Sing the glory of God's name. Sing the glory of God's praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Because of your great strength, your enemies cringe before you. All the earth bows down before you, sings to you, sings out your name. Come now and see the works of God, how awesome are God's deeds toward all people. God turned the sea to dry land, so that they went through the water on foot, and there we rejoiced in God. Ruling forever in might, God keeps watch over the nations. Let no rebels exalt themselves. Bless our God, you peoples, for the sound of praise be heard. Our God has kept us among the living and has not allowed our feet to slip. You, O God, have tested us. You have tried us just as silver is tried. You brought us back into the net. You laid heavy burdens upon our backs. You let people ride over our heads. We went through fire and water. You brought us out into a place of refreshment. I will enter your house with burnt offerings and will pay you my vows, those I have promised with my lips and spoke with my mouth when I was in trouble. I will offer you burnt offerings of fatlings and smokes of rams. I will give you oxen and goats. Come and listen, all you believe, and I will tell you what God has done. I called out to God with my mouth and praised the Lord with my tongue. If I had cherished evil in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. But in truth, God has heard me and has attended to the sound of my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not rejected my prayer, nor withheld unfailing love from me. Save your servants who trust in you, O God. Lord, send them aid from your holy place and watch over them out of Zion. Let the enemy have no power over them and the son of iniquity be powerless to harm them. Fire and heat bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. You sons of men bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above forever. Who delivers us from the devouring flame leads us out of the encircling fires. Let us praise the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Lord, heed my prayer, let my cry come to you. The Lord be with you. With you. Let us pray. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe. You made the whole earth your glory. Be with us now as we dedicate this engine and squad. May they be instruments which serve the well-being of this community and assist in protecting the property and well-being of our citizens. May those who serve as firefighters and first responders be given the tools they need to exercise their mission with skill and professionalism. May this equipment be a blessing now and in the future, and may we have the vision, insight, and generosity to support the efforts of the dedicated core of volunteers who commit their time and their effort for our benefit. Amen. Are they doing it one at a time or two at a time? I think squad Who's going to do it first? Uh, Squad first. Squad first? Okay. We're going to do the christening of the apparatus. We're going to do the squad first. What are you going to hit it off of? He's going to go for the inside of the Okay, hold on. the squad, we have one of our longest tenured members, Harry Heffelfinger Sr. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh-oh. It's under warranty. It'll work. It'll work. Keep doing it. Keep, it'll do it. It'll do it. It always does. Good job, good job, good job. No.
All right, wait a little bit. Which which way he's gonna do it? Can you guys move out of the way? Everyone's out of warranty. Can you guys move out of the way? Thank you. And for the Christy of the engine, Joe Hollister. Hold on, one second. Hold on. Hey. 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 Good thing in the paint office. That's all right. Full wash will fix it. No, the ramp. Oh, that's all right. Oh, let's do it. One more. One more. Try one more time. We'll get. No. Give it a whack. Give it a whack. Give it a whack. You're going to get soaked there, Joe. That's all right. Ready, Joe? Yep. Keep doing it. It'll go. Hey, always does. Come on, One more pop. All right, that was just practice. Do it again. Get that hose out. We got a clean job. I'm going to get it. Oh, yeah. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Pop. You're on video. And on three. One, two. And again. Can you back away with this? Really fast. And you're in your neutral. Give me your neutral. I like your Ready, both of you? Ready? One, one. Both of you looking at me. One, two. There you go. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I guess that means we're going to show that in case somebody wants to get it. Watch out now. Watch out. 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 Watch you invite everyone upstairs for some food and refreshment. I'm sorry. I'm oh, no, go ahead. You do your thing. Thanks. Yeah. Even though. Hey, are you coming through? No, go, go, go. Come to get here and help the food for ten minutes.
That wasn't me. Andy, it's not all I My bad, my bad. That's it, I guess.